This is a story time on how I lost my virginity. We went to Walmart and I spotted a girl that I went, that went to Dutch Town with me. This is my first time ever talking to her. And yes, I clapped the same night. You know what I'm saying? It was demon time. So she was giving me head over there. When she sits down on it, bruh, that, sh that junk feel like gushy and tight and warm and wet. Guess how long I lasted though. When I lost my virginity, I lasted. Oh! Oh! He needs some milk. This is for my African queens right here. I love all my African queens. You are my African. This is for all my African queens right here. I love y'all. Just yesterday, you came around my way. Hey, bruh. To all my beautiful melanin queens out there, bruh. I love y'all. All my African queens out there. I love y'all, bruh. This video is my story time, bruh. We gonna get straight to it. Like, we gonna get straight into the action, bruh. This is a story time on how I lost my virginity. You know what I'm saying? This is the last day y'all gonna see me with this hairstyle on the video. I'm taking this out after this video. I'm finna go wash my hair. If y'all mess with the hairstyle, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm probably gonna come with a new hairstyle or come back to this one. I don't know, bruh. Give me some... Give me your opinion in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all feeling. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all feel this hairstyle? Let me know in the comments. Because y'all didn't let me know in my last video. So... Let me know in this video. But this is the story time on how I lost. Yo, what the freak? Please stay right there, camera, please. You already broke just now. Okay. You already broke before. Please, camera, stay. Camera, camera, don't move. He's shaking. This. I lost my virginity when I was 17 years old. This was the summer before senior year. This was July or June. I think it was late June or, Ju or July. Okay, so we're going to start off with the beginning. Like, growing up, like 15, 16, my cousins and my few friends, they always, focus right there, they always would be on my head, like, about being a virgin. You join the PlayStation party. They talking about girls right when you say something, anything about a girl. Nigga, shut up. You don't know nothing about no girls. You didn't never talk to no girls before. You can't put your opinion on anything when you're a virgin. I'm sorry. When you're a virgin, you can't put your opinion on no girls because you ain't did nothing before. So that was me. I was in that, in that box. It was me and my two little cousins. Both of them is like 16 now, but they was like, 13, 12 at the time. And they was putting me in the same box as them when I'm 15, 16 years old. Talking about, you just like Lil J and Josh. You can't, you ain't even talking. You just like your little cousins. You can't even talk about girls. So I'm just listening. I can't say nothing. Every day they come over, they call me the V word. You know what I'm saying? Every time you can't talk about girls. It's just like, it's basically peer pressure and bullying. Like, they'll be like, you know you're around the age to lose your virginity. Da, da, da. So... I took it upon myself to go get some cheeks, bruh. I was tired of them bullying me. If you watching this cam, I know you watching this. Call me, nigga. Nolan, you a hoe. Jordan, you a hoe. Miles, you a hoe. All y'all niggas are some hoes. Cam, you a hoe. All y'all was making fun of me for being a virgin. Keep that same energy, bruh. Peer pressure is the worst thing on this planet, bruh. Don't ever listen to your friends. If you a virgin right now, it's okay, bruh. Don't even, don't even brush it, bruh. It's okay. Really, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Humans, we can't, like, live without, we could live without it, but it's, like, one of our sensations. Like, we have to have sex. Like, we need sex. 
food, money, and water or something like that. I think that's what we need to survive or something. Or like what we like or something. And I know sex is like one of the top important things and like me, you know what I'm saying? I'm still like a virgin kinda, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no girls, like I don't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no virgin, but like I'm a good boy, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to the story time. So this was like that's okay, that right there is like leads up to why I lost my virginity because I would have probably waited but I was forced to lose my virginity I was forced by my outside peer pressure I was forced bruh it was a summer this is one of the craziest story times ever it was a summer December before senior year this was during COVID or whatever and my cousin's girlfriend was at my house and she was like cool with the whole family. We used to play Fortnite with her or whatever. I don't know if my cousin wanted me to say her name, so I'm gonna just name her Brianna. That's a whack name. I'm gonna name her Leilani. Leilani, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Um, she was like cool with the whole family. She knows everybody. Like she knew my mom, she knew my grandma, she knew the whole family. So we was cool friends or whatever she really was the only person on my side in those parties every day they would make fun of me for losing my not for not losing my virginity she used to be like y'all need to leave this man alone what i don't know what's the rush of losing your virginity y'all need to stop making fun of these little kids da, da, da. so if you watching this leilani you know who i'm talking to your name not really leilani but yeah appreciate you for being on my back I mean, being on my side, you know what I'm saying? So I was with her and we went to Walmart one day. I don't, <laughs> mind you, I don't have a condom, bro. I wasn't in that mind or whatever. So we went to Walmart and I see this girl. Okay, so like growing up, God damn, this story finna be crazy. Growing up, I wasn't like a late ladies man. Like I didn't get a lot of girls. Reason being is I wasn't really interested in girls. I was into playing a video game and I really couldn't talk to girls. I was like really nervous or whatever. But now, now, you know what I'm saying? I don't even say too much. I don't gotta say too much, bruh. Just know, bruh, just know. I went to three different high schools, so I couldn't really settle down and meet people. I went to Money's Mill, Dutch Town, and Union Grove. If you know those schools, comment down below if you went to those schools. I went to those three schools. And I graduated from Union Grove, but I went to Dutch Town too. So listen, we went to Walmart. That's what it's come in. We went to Walmart, and I spotted a girl that I went that went to Dutch Town with me. She was in my grade, and I used to have a crush on her, but I never said nothing to her because I was like scared to talk to girls or whatever. And I seen her at the Walmart. And I was like, Leilani, look, look at that girl. I was like, I had a crush on her. Da da da. Leilani goes over to the girl and basically talks to the girl and gets her to come over to talk to me because I'm over here scared as fuck like oh my god there's a girl oh my god oh my god so me and the girl I'm not gonna say her name I'm gonna name her Christina me and Christina chopping it up or whatever I'm nervous I'm sweating to my balls or whatever this is my first time ever talking to her and yes I clapped the same night you know what I'm saying it was demon time it was it was turning into demon time at night it was like eight o'clock, seven o'clock, sun going down. You know the demons come out at night. Demon time, Nate, he had came out. So we chopping it up or whatever. And then we just end up going back to shopping and I'm not studying nothing. Like I got her Instagram or whatever. And then when we walking out, we both checking out at the same time. And I see her in the parking lot. Like, I guess we both finished checking out and we walking in the parking lot. Leilani sees the sees Christina again and Leilani's like Let me go get her Leilani goes Gets the gets the girl She tells her to come over to me. We go to the car us three and then Leilani you a W man's like Leilani really She's a W man's like She let me use her car to do what I had to do basically Everything happens. I end up talking her, saucing her up, and somehow we end up in a parking lot, bruh. 
and I'm really about to go drive. I'm such a W. I'm such a W YouTuber. I'm about to go drive to the parking lot right now and show y'all where I was when I lost my virginity. It's the exact parking lot. It's like three, four minutes from my house. Not even three. I could walk to it. It's like I'm pointing at the direction. So I'm finna go over there and I'm about to put that in the clip right now. Hold on. Okay, right now I'm driving to the spot. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving to the location where I lost my virginity. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna hit y'all back when I get there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, YouTube. This is the exact spot I lost my virginity at, bro. Look, this is what I was talking about. I was in front of this building, whatever this is. It's not apartments, it's like a, a restaurant. Yo, why is my camera ass? Like, over there is a, a restaurant. I gotta get this camera situated, bro. Over there is another building. I lost my shit right here, bro. Two, three years ago, bro. Hey, man. Y'all yeah, boys. I really came out here with no license right now. Don't tell my mama. I just came out here to show y'all where I lost my virginity at, bro. Shit is crazy, like. Give me flashbacks of the best pussy of my life. <sighs> bye bye to my hair, though. Not bye bye to my hair, but like bye bye to the hairstyle. It's getting a little rusty. It's getting a little crusty. I'm gonna say goodbye to that. But yeah. Go back to the video. Watch the whole thing, nigga. Okay. So listen. Basically, I'm with the girl, and we end up. Leilani's over here, like, okay, you can use the car. I'm, I'm basically telling, telling Leilani, like, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm finna lose my virginity. I'm finna lose my virginity. So Leilani stays at Walmart, and I end up taking the girl in the car. And I'm nervous as crap. Like I'm over here shaking while I'm driving. I can't even drive for real. Like, I'm scared I'm about to crash and die. I drive to the parking lot. I'm over here driving and we go to the parking lot. And we already knew what time it was. Well, I knew what time it was. Why are we going to a parking lot? Like, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't coming to my house. My mom don't play that. Oh yeah, mom, if you watching this, mom, I'm so sorry. I'm a good boy. Okay, mom, if you're watching this, I'm a good guy. Don't, like, cuss me out or nothing. We go to the gas station. Not the gas station. The parking lot. It was, like, dark as fuck outside. So, we had. I went to a parking lot with no cameras or nothing. Then, I end up going to the back seat. I end up going to the back seat. Back seat. Comment back seat if you made it this far into the video. Comment back seat. And God, guess what? My next video going to have to something to do with the back seat. Tune in. It might be dropping Sunday, I think. Because this dropping on a Thursday. So, this, yes, I'm on my shit. Because guess what day it is? It's Thursday. It is midnight. Thursday at midnight. 12.44 12 in, in, at night on Thursday. And I'm dropping this the same day when I wake up the next morning. I'm finna go home, edit this, wake up, drop it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm really a W YouTuber. I'm really back on my grind. Okay, so, we end up going to the back seat. And one thing leads to another. Basically, I don't know no positions to do in a car. So, I didn't have a condom either. So, basically, I got head before this. Before, I got head before. So, I know what head feel like. So, she was giving me head or whatever. She was giving me that sloppy toppy, you know what I'm saying? That sloppy toppy. Then, out of nowhere, she talking about, um, let me get on top of you. Mind you, I'm finna nut off the head alone. Like, we only two minutes into the head, and I'm finna nut. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what to expect. I'm like, oh my freaking god, I'm finna get in some cheeks, bro. I'm finna get in some cheeks, bro. This shit finna feel. Based on what everybody talk about, this shit finna feel warm and juicy. That's what I'm knowing. She gets on top of me, bro. Like this, bro. In the back seat, bro. In the back seat, get on top of me. She goes, sits down on it, nigga. When she sits down on it, bruh, that, sh that junk feel like heaven, bruh. 
bro it feels like heaven bro it's like it was gushy and tight and warm and wet that's what pussy feel like gushy tight warm and wet I don't know what's going on outside. Somebody just turned the light on outside inside my house. But like what are they doing? Like I think my my sister's right there. Bruh, why are you interrupting my video, bruh? What do you want? Hello. What do you want? You hit me with your car. When? You hit me with the car. What are you talking about? You hit me with your car. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just hit me with your car. You just walked up on me, bruh. No, 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 sir, sir. Sir, your car was just moving and you ran over me. Shoddy, I'm parked. I'm in park. <laughs> you ran over me. You ran over me. <laughs> you are you bored? Over. How bored are you? You ran over me. Can I finish my video? Yeah, sure. But yeah, you ran over me. You owe me five hundred dollars. Yeah, I see you in court. Back to the bed. Back to the business, bro. I don't know if the lighting is good or not. I don't know, but we here though. Listen. So if she get on top of me, bro, pussy feels so good, bro. That coochie feels so good, bro. Like that's one of the best feelings in the world, bro. <laughs> Guess how long I lasted though. When I lost my virginity, I lasted. I want to say two or three strokes, bro. Oh, he needs no. some milk. Two, three. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm finna nut, I'm finna nut, I'm finna nut. Nigga, I lasted two or three strokes, bro. <laughs> I lasted two or three strokes. I think it was two, but I think it was three. But the thing is, though, the reason why I took when well, it was so quick is because I was already finna nut off the head, so it was already built up. So I was, and then my brain is like, oh my god. So the my brain, my heart, and my meat was all coming together. So basically, all the tension came, and I just nutted out of nowhere, bro. But the good thing is she swallowed that shit though. W girl, if you watching this, I was like, I'm finna nut, I'm finna nut. Shotty went down and made sure she swallowed that shit up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Shotty swallowed that nut real quick. You know what I'm saying, baby? Um, yeah, that's really how I lost my virginity. And I never talked to that girl again. And I don't know why. I think it's because I only lasted two or three strokes. But then I also think it's because I just really wasn't fucking with her no more. But she was a good looking girl to me. She had a big booty. Light skin. Like lighter than me though. Like on some white light skin. I like that. I like that right there. Real bad. Oh yeah. I go after I do all this, I goes and tells the story to my friends, bro, and my cousins, bro. They they believed that it was my cousin's girlfriend I lost my virginity to because I was with her and they knew I was with her that day. I did not lose it to that. That's like really fucked up. Why would I even do that, bruh? That's like breaking the bro code, bruh. I would never do nothing like that. If you ever did that, you were real fuck nigga, bruh. Don't ever do that, bruh. That's the story time. I lasted three, two, three strokes, bruh. The best fit. It was the best two, three strokes of my life. My virginity girl, she had the best pussy I ever had, though. I don't know if it's because that was my first time, but out of all the girls I ever hit, she had the best. Her shit was just right, and she and she knew what she was doing because she wasn't a virgin. I was the virgin. She knew what she was doing, bruh. So if you, for all the girls that hold it down, bruh, I really applaud y'all, bruh. Make sure y'all stay clean. At least she wasn't like the girl that was nasty and dirty that I had the stink coochie one. If you ain't watched that story time, go back and watch that. If you made it this far in the video, you know what I'm saying. Comment, comment, um. Comment two. C comment two dash three, as in two dash three strokes, so I know you watched the whole video. Two dash three, so I know who the real ones is. If you don't comment that, I know you're not a real one. And I'm gonna know you didn't watch the whole video. So don't come to me talking about you watched my video because I know you didn't.
I also did this story time in the car because that's where I lost my virginity at, in the car. That's another reason why I did it in the car. Tell me if y'all messing with the ones that I'm acting out, the ones I'm standing up where it's propped up, the ones where I'm in the car, do you want one I'm sitting down at a table, do you want one when I'm in my room? Where do y'all want me to do my story times at? I like this vibe right here. It's like the lighting's good or whatever. But then I also like acting out my story time. I got some more story times on the way. Just let me know what other things y'all think I could do a story time on. And with that being said, I fuck with y'all, bro. I gotta come with a name. I gotta come up with a name for y'all, bro. My last name is Messiah, so I might come up with like some Messiah shit. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't lost your virginity yet, it's okay, bro. Be yourself, bro. Don't try to impress nobody, bro. Be yourself. It's no rush for nothing. Your time will come. It's a girl. It's like a hundred thousand million billion girls in this world. Like, if you get rejected by a girl, who cares? They all gonna. It, the worst thing they could say is no. Then you go to the next girl. And with that being said, bruh, y'all boys like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out, bruh. Peace. Hey, bruh. Why you ain't like the video yet, bruh? I'm not really messing with you right now. Back, back, yeah. They keep on asking where my racks at, ayy. Lil' bro, stash that. Don't make me reach inside this backpack, cuz I might blast that. I came from nothing, now I'm past that way. I keep having flashbacks. They I just give me, I know.